when I look back on the path it took me to get where I am today, I think about the little girl with a big dream of the future and so many ways I had no concept of what I was aiming for, but I knew in my heart and I trusted in my instincts. My goal started out, um, as you might think, for me it was a big goal, but my goal started out as a little girl was to win the US Open. Um, and just one. <laughs> and that was a big goal for me from a girl from Compton. So at the tender age of three, I began my journey. I was blinded by passion as I practiced in Compton. And all those years later, once one thing always remained the same. Um, once you set your goals, always aim higher. I have to say that hard work and dedication are the cornerstones of success. And if you believe in yourself, even when others are doubting you and society is pushing you down, it's so important to always have that self-belief in yourself. I stand here and I can tell you, I know what it's like to be overlooked um, as a woman, as a black woman, but I never let anyone define my potential by my gender or my color. I continue to raise my voice in hopes of breaking barriers and make it easier for those coming up after me. And one thing that I truly, truly believe in is that the success does not define a person. It's how you successful you can be after you fall. A lot of people that truly inspire me are those not who are wildly successful, but those who are wildly successful after they fell and then they came back to be super successful again. And that's what, for me, fuels a successful brand and a person. Lots of brands do not know how to make it on the first time. I know as a professional athlete, as a tennis player, as I stand here as Serena Williams, <laughs> I guess I can't put that in quotations because I am Serena Williams, but I just did. Um, <laughs> but I know my first time, um, as a professional athlete, I lost in less than an hour and to a, a person who, you know, who I don't think anyone in this room can remember, but I never stopped trying or believing or believing that I could reach my goals. Also, the same thing as I started my fashion company, it didn't happen instantly with success, you know. Somewhere in between winning Wimbledon's and winning the US Opens, I also never stopped believing. Um, the art of failure for me is not limited to athletes or entrepreneurs or even seasoned executives. It's open to everyone in life and part of the journey for me is taking a fall and dusting yourself off. But I would like to say that above all, um, it takes a tremendous amount of humility to be great. In my own life, I'm happy for everyone's successes, even when they're my competitors. <laughs> And honestly, I find inspiration from their accomplishments. Um, I see the success that thrives around us is there to give something that we can push each other and set our goals higher than the day before.